Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the video. I'm the FB Guru, and uh, today I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the bot and what it's capable of doing and show you a little bit about how to use it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me bring up the bot here. Alright, so this is the interface. Um, when you load the bot up, this is what you'll be working with. Let me just go through and explain uh, what everything is here very quickly. Uh, I guess I'm going to use this as an example down here uh, since we've already created and saved a feed this will be perfect for me to show you what these components are exactly so the first thing you've got here is the feed title um, if you look down here at the feed we've already created this would be the first line that shows up and one of the key things that you need to keep in mind here uh, about this field is that Facebook is going to insert the name of the user uh, from which it, whatever account you're using the bot from so in this case it's going to be Ja Love as you can see right here Let's say Ja Love won a free iPhone. So like in this case, all that we would have done is typed one a free iPhone and then linked the word iPhone to the offer, correct? So uh, it's pretty easy to do. That's the first line right there. We'll get, I'll get into showing you how to do links here in just a second, so hang on for that. Um, the next line, the body data, that's this one right here. Click below and register for your chance, for you chance, excuse me typos on that one um, but what you want to gonna want to do is just you know type in kind of a filler line for that one it should have something to do with it obviously and it should make people want to complete the offer or click the link whether you're linking to affiliate offers or your website um, but basically it's just kind of filler stuff so I'll move on there as you can see for this one it would say click below and register for your chance to win So that's about it for that line, right? Next line is the body general, and that is the line of text here that's going to be right to the right of the image. So we would highly recommend, we do highly recommend that whatever you put here, you link the entire phrase to your offer or your URL, whatever you're trying to link to. Um, I, just you'll, We found that there, you get a lot better response when you do that. So link the entire line there. And of course you can experiment on your own too and see what works best for you. You're obviously going to be using different wordings, running different offers, or linking to different websites. So um, this is all very dependent upon that. To begin with. Okay, so uh, for this one here we give away 100 iPhones every day. That's that, right? Now let's talk about uh, the images here. You can actually upload any image you want. I'll go into that later and show you. I don't want to reset the form for the moment, so I'm not going to do it right now. Um, but just for the sake of the argument or whatever, um, say I've already uploaded an image, and let's not use this iPhone one because we've already done that. So let's use this other one I've got. It's called Peace. Um, whenever you upload an image, you assign a title to it, and that title will show up in here. So it's very easy to decide what image you want to use. Um, so that's that. Let's move on. Um, the image link. Now this is the first place I'm going to talk about linking with the GuruBot. Uh, there's some very specific rules that you need to keep in mind. Um, and if you don't, you'll be getting errors and your links won't work. So uh, for the image link, the, the only thing that you need to keep in mind, I guess, really, uh, when linking with the bot is that if you're familiar with HTML, you might see... Uh, ahref tags, or you will see ahref tags, where the URL that you're linking to is enclosed in quotations. Um, let me give you an example here. Say ahref equals http www.whatever.com. Right? Now, in normal HTML, this is kosher. That would work fine. Quotations are required. If you don't have them, they won't work. Um, with the GuruBot, though, what you need to understand is that we're, we're going through Facebook's API, so we need to follow their rules. Um, so all that really means to you in this field right here, uh, well, when you're linking, I guess, in general, is that you just don't put quotations around your, your URLs, right? Or your URLs, excuse me. Um, and in this particular field, you actually don't even have to put the href tag in there. It's built in. So just HTTP www.whatever.com will work just fine. Um, if you put anything else in there, in this particular field, it will get screwed up and cause errors. So uh, follow this format. 
So let's go back up here and say that you wanted to link um, in, in the example we did right here we have just the word iPhone linked um, in the text. So let's do that. So you are going to use an ahref tag uh, like you would if you were coding in HTML. Um, the only thing, as I was saying before, is that you just don't put the quotations. So it's very simple. Get the mouse out of the way there. Um, you just type your address in. Whatever.com will work just fine, I think. So as I was saying, if you're familiar with HTML at all, this will be extremely simple to pick up. Um, if you're not, it should be just as simple. It's basically you follow this format right here. And what this is doing is it's saying uh, the text that's in between these two tags, this is the opening tag, and this slash A, backslash A is the closing tag. What it's saying is that all the text that's in between these two tags are going to be linked to this location right here. So very easy to set up. Um, most of you should have no problem doing this. And of course, if you do, we're available for, uh, for help too. So remember that. So that's about it. I think we've got everything in here filled out. Um, let's preview the feed and hope it works. Facebook sometimes doesn't load, so okay, we're just fine. All right, so as you can see here, we got all our text in here. Everything's good to go, although I didn't link this as I was suggesting to you guys. Maybe I should do that. href http slash slash www dot whatever dot com. Again, I think that'll work just fine for this example. Okay, and now you're also going to notice that when you preview it, it puts the image back on the puts the image on the first one that was selected. So just go ahead and uh, choose the piece image again. It's re-preview. And now as you can see, uh, if you look down in the corner of the browser window, this entire sentence is now linked to whatever.com, just like just the word iPhone here in the image. So that's it. You've created your feed. Uh, that's really all there is to it. Now let's save it here. So that's that. Um, now, if you want to send it out, click Publish Feed, and that is how you send out a feed. Now, let me go to the profile here. Okay, now here's where what I was talking about. Uh, or excuse me, I actually didn't mention this. Um, here's the the feed showed up. Uh, Facebook, though, recently had, you know, as you know, they went into a new layout kind of design thing, and uh, in doing so, they they upgraded the feeds feature. So what you now have on Facebook is you have the ability to send out uh, one-line stories, which you're seeing right here, as you, you know, obviously it's one line, um, or short stories. And how you turn this into a short is you'll click there, you click short, and here it is. The entire feed that you sent out shows up. And now the important thing to remember too is that you as a, a user, um, as an account holder, are responsible for doing this. So if you want, um, if you want this to not show as a, a one story feed, or excuse me, a one line story feed, you need to come here and click this and click it on short. You know, as you can see, clicking back to one line will put it back to one line, so on and so forth. But as soon as you come over here and convert it to short, this is going to show up this way. This feed is going to show up as a short story feed for everybody that goes out to. So if you don't do this, you're only going to be sending out one line feeds, and uh, they work fine too. They're just as powerful. You know, some people really like to see the image in there though, and uh, you know, it'll it'll help you get more click-throughs and uh, conversions if you're including images. So that's about it. That's how it works. Um, one more thing I want to talk about. Is basically this is the pro you know on, obviously this is the profile of the u the account that I'm using so you know it's not going to do you a whole lot of good to send out feeds in your own account unless you're some kind of celebrity or you know have some kind of status where a lot of people are coming to your profile every day and looking at it you know if that's not the case you're probably not going to be generating too many clicks from directly on your profile so let me show you where this bot becomes extremely useful. Get into a different browser here. Okay, uh, so this is another account that we've got. Um, Mike Michaels is the name of this one, as you can see. 
Uh, let me just try something really quick here. It might not have come through quick. Oh yeah, it already did come through. See, look at that. Uh, the feed that I sent out from the Jaw Love account has already come through to the Mike Michaels account. And this is the first page on Facebook that this user were to see. Let me just show you. I'll log out really quick and log back in. This is the first page um, that, that a user sees when they're logging into Facebook. So let me remember the login information here. Get logged in. Boom. This is the first page that you see. So as you can see, the bot is giving you the ability to send out feeds directly to people's first main page.